What up everybody, it's me, NGS. Anyway, I'm going to be reacting to a uh, magic trick, a routine that B Done the Magician here just so happened to perform on camera and has asked me to watch and try and figure out. I've never done anything like this before. I don't think he's done anything like this before, so it'll be interesting. I will be watching it and then after watching it and reacting to it, I'm going to attempt to guess how the trick is done. And then I'll get my answer on Monday when he drops the tutorial video. Yeah, that'll be coming out on his channel, this channel right here. Unless he's not putting this video on his channel and wants me to put it on mine. In which case, I'll put a link to his channel down below. <laughs> I don't know what channel this is going on. It might go on both for all I know. So here we go. We'll start by uh, pulling out the deck of cards. And I'd like to show you that it is a full deck of 52 cards. And uh, what we're gonna do here, I want you to see, no funny business, no special deck, anything like that. I never trust that. What we're gonna do ever. here is uh, we are going to separate the cards into two piles. And then we'll go ahead and take the decks and give them a nice shuffle, just like so. And we'll give them a cut. And we'll do the same thing with this pile here. And we'll finish with a cut. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take these decks we're gonna give them a little them swirly dirly. I believe this is called a Rosetta Shuffle. Same thing. But we're not just gonna shuffle them. They've already been shuffled. We are going to, in fact, grab a pile of cards and stick them into the middle, <laughs> making this entire pile completely mixed up. Some face up, some face down. I'm sure you guys are used to hearing that, right? And we'll do the same thing again. And we can actually do this as many times as the spectator wants. And there's even a way to uh, have the spectator do this themselves if you'd like. But once they are satisfied, we'll then take all the cards and push them into each other. And once the cards are all pushed together, we'll even give them another shuffle because why not? Now everything is very fairly mixed. Face up, face down, all around. Okay, seems fair. Now, uh, before we begin, I told you I have a prediction here in this envelope. I don't remember you telling me that. But I'd like right. to show you what that prediction is. And that prediction is that there would be 23 face up cards. Now, if there were 23 face up cards here, that would be pretty amazing. Let's just see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two and 23 cards face up now that in itself is a miracle a nice small miracle right it's wonderful how could i possibly have known after all that shuffling after everything's mixed up well i uh actually made another prediction here in the envelope i have another prediction here that states that there will be exactly 14 black cards that would be pretty amazing so let's see if that is true we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen black cards exactly 14 black cards but not only that that is pretty amazing but wait, there's more. 
All right. I actually Billy made a, another prediction. I have here another prediction stating that there are exactly nine even red cards. Oh, are they even let's, red uh, cards? Let's check it out. Or are they even red cards? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. Nine even red cards. But perhaps some of you eagle eyed viewers would have noticed there's actually uh, there's a three. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight even red cards because I actually have a, uh, three, of a three of diamonds here put in by a mistake. But There's it wasn't a exactly a mistake There's because I also prediction. predicted, except for the three of diamonds. Magic lovers, don't forget to like, comment, share, and okay. subscribe. So now time for my prediction in guessing how he did that. Um, so first thing I'm going to uh, assume here is obviously that whole stack that he came up with the flipped over stack had to have been premeditated uh, obviously pre decided uh, obviously um and then he had to come up and invent a time machine that worked within the parameters of that time limit that time frame between the flipping of the cards and putting them together and then he stopped time went in there found the cards put them back in there in the order and in the uh, the direction that he needed them to be in and then played time correctly back to normal and from there continued with the trick that or use the same time machine to pause time look at the cards that were flipped over counted them wrote it on a paper uh, counted how many of them were black wrote that on a paper how many of them were even uh, wrote that on a paper and predicted which one was not even which was the three of diamonds yep easy done all right, thanks for watching. Uh, he doesn't really need to upload the tutorial because I already answered it for you. You can just ignore it on Monday. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see you right or back in the next video. No, I'm kidding. All right, so obviously he had to have come up with the stack ahead of time. And I think in the beginning here, the whole flipping the deck inside, uh, flipping the deck, backwards Hold on. it's kind of a twist or a play on the slop triumph which you can also find a tutorial for on b don's channel as well but it's uh, the idea is you mix the cards uh, upside down right side up all willy-nilly in the deck and they all magically flip themselves right side up except for one card but i think the idea here is to you know mix the cards up and then the cards that are flipped obviously are that stack that you had predetermined and I think I got it figured out. So the true illusion is made when he doesn't shuffle the deck in the beginning. It's he shuffles them separately because when he splits the deck in half and that's where I, I don't exactly know how he knows where to cut the deck in half in the beginning, but he was able to cut the deck between his pre-planned stack and the doesn't matter stack and then shuffle them separately which is already a weird uh thing to do to a magician's eyes that would be a, a red flag immediately but he shuffled them separately and i'm pretty sure what he did was whenever he mixed the two together and you you see it happen and it's really a very beautiful illusion because you do see the cards get uh interweaved obviously all mixed up and upside down he's still keeping the the stacks separated keep them separated and he's while it may look like they're being shuffled I, it's kind of hard to explain i'm sure he'll do it better in the tutorial but i'm pretty sure that the two stacks are still staying separated and he's keeping track on which side is right side up so when he makes the prediction he's not doing it in reverse yeah, so as soon as the two decks were already put together, the two decks were separated by one being upside down and one being right side up. So he could have shuffled them as many times as he wanted. They were still going to be separated by that general 
uh, distinction, one being upside down, one being right side up. And I think when he fanned them out, all he had to do was spot either the three of diamonds or a specific card in the stack that he had. And then of course, the rest of it's just reading the prediction and showing the cards and doing the whole gotcha moment back to back to back. I think, I think that is how this trick is done. I'm sure it'll be way better explained than me because I'm literally watching this for the first time and just going off of the whim here. But yeah, that's my prediction on how this trick is done. Be done, um, I'm sure you'll let me know probably in the comments. Um, yeah, so let me know what y'all think. Am I correct on that? I, I, don't, I don't think it's exactly the slop triumph trick. I think there's another trick. I can't think of the name that works in the same way where you mix the cards inside out upside down but really they're not it's a great illusion um yeah that's that's my guess on it it's not a trick deck uh cards are already um planned out not in a specific order but in a specific prediction and the mixing of upside down right side up cards is what keeps them separated huh all right um there, there we go it's my first time doing this kind of content let me know what you think down below um if this is on B-Don's channel, subscribe, like, and follow. He does tutorials. Uh, he has another channel where he is starting to do some pretty cool in-depth reviews of katanas. If you're into that, definitely go check that out. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I can't wait to see you right back in the next video.